Shalom, Shalom. I'm your host, Big Trust, here at the King's Table. Shout out to Seagrams, you know, got to do what I got to do to enjoy the day. Calling all kings to the table. Calling all kings to the table. I repeat, kings, please come to the table right now. We got to huddle up and talk about this. We have to talk about men stating their preference and standing by them. Without further ado, we're going to spit fire. He may have maturity. I felt like you don't have authority. You have a responsibility, but no authority. That's what I feel. Well, those are some strong words, but Joya? Yes. You didn't ask for another date with him. What was the turnoff? Specifically, the turnoff was when I asked she that question make up something right about now. would you date a single mother? And Jacoby, you proceeded to tell me that basically you're a high value man and you are too good for a single mother. However, you did also tell me that you were raised by a single mother, which is profound for me to think that a single mother is not good enough for you, but it's good enough for a woman to raise you. That's unfair. And it's very. How the hell that is unfair? Riddle me that, Batman. And what does him being raised by his mother having to do with a preference, his preference. Help me make it make sense, y'all. This is a bullshit, a bullshit, a bullshit, a bullshit. Insensitive to women out there who have children. All right, so. Just because it's a cycle, I wanted to wanted to continue. I'm it doesn't have so, to continue. So what I'm saying is, it's, is that it's more about why would you cut off and say that single women are not on the same level? What you're supposed to learn from is history. So you're really? a very What's intelligent. No, 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 you're a very no, intelligent no, no, no. woman. You're very intelligent. One thing I cannot stand is when simp's simp's get in the way and try to be Captain Saber 304. Simp's simp for no damn reason. See what I'm saying? And you notice the brother here is about to hit some nerves with some truths. And th this show is this show comes from um, put a ring on it on the Oprah Winfrey Network. Isn't that don't that ring a bell to you, dolls? Okay, connect the dots here. What does? being raised by a single parent have to do with one's choice. Marinate on that. So you're a woman, right? Yes. So if you know, if, as, a, as a woman growing up, you know it's a less likelihood for you to be successful by having a child. So what you do, you be more proactive. Using condoms. What's that got to do with sure your choice? You, okay, if you're getting Can pregnant, then all right, cool. Maybe I shouldn't continue with having this child because I'm not, I, I'm not getting married. I should, I, a better chance of me having a successful life. You're just talking about finding me. That's Excuse what I'm thinking. Me. So you you were raised by a single mother. Yes. And is I, your mother I still alive? I struggle. My mom's still did alive. Did she struggle or did you struggle? Both of us struggle. And what, again, uh, Egypt, that's her name, the host of the show. Again, what does struggling and his mother have to do with his preference? Do you get this, men? Do you see what's going on here? The shaming tactics? You're talking about me? No, he's saying in general. It's quite funny. It's quite funny. It's okay for a woman to have her preference. But it's not okay for a man to have a preference. Soon as a man states his preference, he gets shamed on. He gets flamed on. You know what? Men... Keep stating your damn preference. And when a woman tries to shame you, you clap back at her ass. More of these modern women need their ass clapped. You need to stand your ground. Stand your ground. That's it. Okay, so your words mm -hmm. that echoed all around mm -hmm. social media, and I want to make sure that we have this clearly, were... I'm a high value man. I've done things to step up my echelon and I'm not going to settle mm -hmm. for a single mother. 
Yeah. Did I have sure. that correctly? I want to be clear. Yeah, the reseller. Right. So. Yes, he did. He did things to step up his echelon. Dumbass. That means he did the work. That means he took responsibility and he did the work. How dare you shame him? And this big nose heifer too. But she got a simp. Of course he'll put a ring on it. Because it's clear that she wears the pants in a relationship. But someone of strong value as this brother, she couldn't handle. Because if you watch the show, you know me, law enforcement, retired football player. I'm trained. I watch body language. I watch facial expression, facial micro. When a person says something, that can trigger a person. It can bother a person. Especially when you hit their ass with the truth. You sit back and let a person talk long enough, they're going to tell you everything you need to know. A large number of women, they shoot themselves in the foot. They don't learn how to shut up and keep their damn mouth shut. That's what they need to learn. Learn how to keep your mouth shut and listen. What makes you think you're a high-value man? The car you drive? No, the value I put out into the world. What about your character? I have great character. I've built myself to basically have better choices. You want to know why? Because women can choose and, and make a choice. They can. They can say, I don't want to date a man that makes they less can. than six figures. They can. And then what are you doing? You're but demeaning a man. But we're not talking about that. Women that's can not talk the about situation that Listen, hold on. That's not you dumb motherfucker. We are talking about that because we're talking about his preference. You stupid blockhead mother. Dollar Tree mop bucket. We are talking about it. He's talking about his preference. It's okay for a woman to have preference. Soon as a man has preference, he's shamed. He's flamed on. You know what? Continue to flame on him because guess what? Men are going to continue to state their preference. Men are going to continue to set boundaries. Men ain't settling. If all you have is your body to bring to the table of a relationship, no, you know what? Better yet, <laughs> that man, that man, can, hey, that man can treat you, treat you just like a three hundred four. Hey, man, since everybody else is getting a turn, I might as well get a turn. But why go through all them games? Just remove yourself from the situation. A woman can say, I won't date a man less than 5'8", and a man could be 5'4". Do they, do they care about what does that have to exercising do all of those with men? Anything? If a fat man is sitting here, he can be a fat man, right? Uh -huh. But if a fat woman is sitting here, you would say, oh, no, we're body positive. Oh, no, we can't. And, and if you watch the show and you watch Egypt's facial expressions, she know he right. She know he right. And he right. See, a lot of men are waking up. A lot of men are seeing uh, the, the, you know, they're looking, they, they, they moving the trees out the way. They seeing the sunlight. They, 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 they seeing the clear blue skies. They're waking up. Not only are men waking up themselves, but they're waking up other men. See, the, they they having these red table conversations. They they're having these water cooler conversations. They're having these sideline conversations. They're having these locker room conversations. They're having these street corner conversations. The more conversations that men be continue to have, now you have more men using wisdom. Hey, I I, I got a passport. I can go overseas. I'm going to do another show. I'm going to do another take on that. Because I'm tired of women shaming passport bros. But yet, y'all ass can act a goddamn fool when you go to Mocha Fest in, 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 in damn Houston, Texas. Let's get it. 
say that. We can. It's all about picking her up. So every time it's saying something for a man, bro, it's down. You got you got a lot on your back. Yeah, okay. Man. Yeah, he, he got a lot on his back. He got a lot of truth on his back, and he's airing it out. And they can't stand it. Because everything that's coming out of his mouth is the truth, and he's standing his ground. Shout out to the brother. So what I'm I want to be I'm clear, just not just for you, but for everybody out there, is the car you drive, your resume, your bank account, uh -huh. your accolades is not what makes you a high value man. Definitely not not. We are all defined. No, no. That doesn't make you a high value man. But a large number of women are using that same damn thing as requirements for men. Now run tell that. Ain't that a lot of bitch? by the sum of our deeds and our character and you brother are coming up to the sum of zero mm -hmm. a b man and then she gonna sit up and co-sign oh big nose witch dollar tree mop bucket gonna co-sign amen if i was on that show i would have been like brother i got you you speaking truth Men, continue to stand your ground. Men, continue to stand on your preference. Men, continue. Prioritize your time. Prioritize your money. I always tell you, your finances are your finances. If you're making 40000 a year or more, you ain't got no drama. You ain't got no issues. You live in peace. You come and go as you pleased. You ain't got to answer to nobody. You're constantly working on yourself. Self worth, you are high value. Continue to stay on that. Take that with you and go be great.